Why are they red, hey. by the way? So, great. Oh, uh, that means that their air, their air has been altered by the nightmare. Oh. So, but that's not something we're going to worry about. Also, um, I want you to notice something. You notice how all of the bosses have one thing in common? What? They all have those diamonds on their foreheads like Gate does. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to this guy. Oh, oh that god. Brown yeah, scarab. That's what he's sitting on. That's supposed to be a rock. I thought it was supposed to be a dung thing. He's a, he is a dung beetle, but instead of, instead of just a fucking poop ball, Well, that goes, uh, perfectly to put in the Spongebob meme here. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a museum that we're at. Well, that was a weird glitch there. Oh, um, no, that, that, that meant to happen. Also, I wanted to mention before, at the end there, you mentioned how, how would they do a game to connect Legends to uh, ZX, which is after Zero. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, they wouldn't need to make another game for ZX, right? Oh, no. oh. Ooh. Wait, they can die? Yes. These things, it, these nightmares can possess, um, can possess the, the guys I got to save, and if that happens, they're dead. But they're not just dead, they're dead permanently. So I have to be quick to save them. Oh, well, I can see, now I see how this could be kind of annoying. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but what you were saying is that they wouldn't create another ZX game. They would create. They could create a new series to connect between. Well, Legends. see, I'm gonna have to stop you right there and say that. They, they most certainly should create another ZX game, because ZX Advent ended on a fucking cliffhanger. In what way? You would have to play ZX Advent to find. You would have to look up the Z, the Advent, to, the ending to ZX Advent to find out. Well, obviously they got to connect Legends to ZX in some way. So it would prep depending on what the the. Uh, the cliffhanger is either they would just create another game that would fill in the blank and you know end the story of that gen that um, uh, series of the ZX series, and then after maybe create a, something that would connect the two. I don't know. I'm not really, not really sure. All I know is it'd be hard to connect Legends to the other stuff because it takes so far in the future. Maybe something in the new ZX game causes the world to flood or something like that. Alright, so you see this right here? Yeah, this Final Fantasy looking thing. What are you doing? It takes me to a secret area. Every stage has one of these things. Though, I've noticed every single one of the classic games that have came out after 8 have been slowly connecting the games together to X anyway. First you have 9 which releases that shows a virus which is equivalent to that of the the Maverick virus or the Sigma virus or whatever you want to call it. Which I guess is a good way of connecting them. Um, ten, yeah. 10? I'm not really sure actually. Oh wait no, 10 I think re Wily reveals that he's working on a super robot or something like that. Yeah. Which is 0. And eleven yep. kind of shows. Speaking of which, I don't know. What? Who are you? Oh, Remember this that? is you. Oh Girl. yeah. Yeah. X, don't you recognize me? Look at this. I was damaged so badly by the nightmare that the color of my body has been changed. Stop it! You can't fool me. You have become so insane that you can't even recognize me. That means that you've become a maverick. As a maverick hunter and your friend, I will tire you myself. 
Ah, oh, yes, they use the song again, don't they? Yeah. Hey, you want to see something funny? His, he's weak to his own sword. Watch this. That's weird. Well, you're almost dead, though. Shit, he got me. See what showing off does to you? It kills you. I didn't mean to show- I wasn't showing off. I just, uh, I'm just, I'm just I wasn't prepared just... for him to kill me like that. But you know what? I know what I'm gonna do to him now. <laughs> though, I will say, though, 11 didn't- Mega Man 11 didn't really connect anything. I don't know what that was story was for, like, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm probably gonna maybe make a lot of people upset, but I didn't really care for Eleven's story, you're not gonna lie. It didn't really bring anything new to the table. Like, yeah, it showed I that... Mean, it, like, yeah, it showed sure, that... Right. Wait, you don't agree? Why? Okay, I'm curious to hear your opinion. No, no, I mean, like, it's, it's whatever. Anyways, before I say anything, Zero's back. Is he back or? Yeah, he's back. That's him. Look how happy he is. Yeah, at least his Japanese voice fits him. I want to. I really want to read that one Sonic Mega Man crossover because it does have Zero and X in it and Sigma. Actually, let me see. So, so, you know how when Zero was like fucking severed in half and had a huge hole in his chest? Yeah. He was basically, he went into hiding to repair himself. Um. So imagine, imagine what that looked like. A guy who had just one arm, who had just like fucking one arm. And no legs and a massive hole in his chest. Imagine how that must have looked like for him to just basically heal himself and shit. What a cop out, actually. Dude, X6 pretty much fucking retconned all of the en everything to like, and it made everything. Because like again, X5 was supposed to be the last, the last game of the X series, and. Zero's death was supposed to mean was supposed to mean something, lead up to something. Now you got this; it means absolutely nothing. Which means, because like back then, when it was when X Five was, was was out and no one knew anything about X Six, people had like a lot of like heartbreak. It's like, oh my gosh, this can't be the end for Zero. Like, is this is this it? Are we never gonna see Zero again? But nowadays, it's like. Zero's death scene means nothing anymore now because yeah. you know he's like X six is already out and you know he's gonna come back. Yeah. So he basically died for nothing. Yeah, it, it it I can understand where that would it destroys the meaning. But the thing is at the time we had no idea that we're gonna create Z ZX and Zero, so now it's actually necessary for these games to exist. But there is one bit of good news for Zero. He, he no longer has any viruses in him or whatever, so he's pretty much he's pretty much clean. So I want to show you something. You yeah. Know, so did you know? Like I said, that they did a crossover. They did a crossover of Mega Man and Sonic. Did you know they did a crossover of Mega Man X and Sonic? So like, look at this. Oh yeah, I remember. I have and, one of these. And, and, and apparently Street Fighter was there too? Uh, no, no, that was a different one. There was a... Let me look for it, actually. There was a... It was like a... Hold on. It was like a... That was a 
worlds collide of like Sega and Capcom. Oh, oh but yeah, so I, I remember Sigma was there and uh, he was working with he was working with, with both Wiley and Eggman. As well as the Deadly Six, apparently. It's weird, yeah. It's just... Oh, this is the one you're talking about, I think. Uh, if I can find it somewhere. There was like a big crossover of all the series. I still don't know which one it was. I love how like Sigma has like his was has a body that is give, given by both is has a combined body that was built by both Wily and and Eggman. Like you can see you can see Wily's skull and Eggman's mustache. Like put put up a picture so the viewers can see it. Yeah, look yeah. at this. Yeah, the the Wily and Eggman help create Sigma a new body. Yeah. What, one of my biggest hopes was oh hey hold on, I know that you have only just returned, but I need to ask you something. Will you help X and X and carry out the missions? Grant. Oh shit! I forgot that's me. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's my job. I'm a Maverick hunter. I know, bitch. I've been away for a while. No thanks to Sigma. But I'm ready to fight for peace and all that shit. Thank you. All that gay shit, you know. You know all that, all that, that, that meaningful shit. But anyways, as I was saying, one of the things I really wanted to see for Mega Man, um, not for Man, for Capcom versus not versus Capcom Infinite, was I wanted to see not just only Sigma. And Ultra, but I also wanted to see Bison. I wanted to see Wesker. I wanted to see those guys interact with each other and shit. Uh, there is one that, that did that. It's gotta find it somewhere. We're never gonna be, we're never gonna see a fucking <laughs> Resident Evil Mega Man crossover. Unless it's a theme thing. Fucking <laughs> the map, the Mavericks working with Umbrella. That would be interesting, dude. Imagine the fucking tyrants. The, it would be the S virus, Sigma virus. Yeah. The t no, the T. It'd be the oh yeah, the S. This, here's here's the thing that I'm talking about actually. This actually was a little collide thing, collab thing they did here. This. Honestly. See, this was for the tenth anniversary. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it has all the all their like other series. You got Alex Kidd, you got Ryu, you got Vice. And did you know? And did you, you notice Knight, that, um, uh, the the did you notice that Wily's Robot Masters are there too, like on the front? Yeah, yeah. It's because um, somewhere in in the story, Wily and Eggman get betrayed by someone. I just don't know when what it is, and so now they're they all ev eventually help each other out to take on this new threat. Again, of course, it, I think it's something that Eggman created, which betrays them as usual. So I love the images where, like, though of uh, Wily and Eggman in the comics. They're so freaking. They're like a bromance. Oh, let me find them. They're great. And I'll put them up on the screen, too. Okay. Where is it? There's, like, one that I... I love this... There's one that I love the most, and it's, like, my favorite one. Let me see if I can find it here. There it is. Yeah, I love this one. <laughs> Hold on, let me get it. They're, like, on a motorcycle, and Wiley's, like, si They're, like, sipping champagne and stuff. Let me, let me get a copy of the image. Yeah, here it is. Like, that's just freaking great. And then you got Mega Man and Sonic tied up to a tree on the back. You know, it's so weird that it took him a comic to do this. You'd think that 
considering that both of the heroes are blue, both of the villains are evil scientists that want revenge and can build machines, that they would do this team up already. There he is. Gron Scaravich, you must be the burglar of ruins. What are you doing here? You want me to do this one? Wow, wow, wow. What have we here? Why, it's Officer X! This is horrible! Why do I have to face someone like you here? You smart red point and give me the information on the nightmares. I'd rather just see what DNA data you have. This is weakness, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, you know, I should, I should at least let him do his thing. Bad. Ah, uh, kick your boulders. What is he gonna? Look at that! Look at that! Holy crap! Oh, he's dead. And we got the ground dash. And the set squeeze on. Oh, we got these things. Alright, here we go. Ground Scaravich, an ex treasure hunter. He was devoted to the research on an ancient site. He also had lots of research data on ancient robots. Gate took care of Scaravich in exchange for the ancient data. Gate improved his knowledge from him. Then Gate had him go to the Forbidden Area. It was the place that you were both discovered. I saw Scaravich enter that place. I felt bad, but I disposed him. Gate didn't seem to care. I didn't want to remember this. Oh. Alright. And oh. now it's time for the... Time for the coolest fucking boss ever. 